that without, his, without the help of the Ethiopians, I would never have accomplished anything. My husband and I came many years ago, and my husband died in the early, about 10 or 12 years ago, and I managed the, we've got hospitals in the countryside for a very terrible injury that occurs when a woman can't deliver a baby normally. And she labors and labors until the baby dies, and she gets a very bad injury in her pelvis, and we are the ones that are repairing it. And these two on either side are helping me, and all the Ethiopians here are helping me and behind this work. And I want to say how grateful I am to see you all here. ወደሌላ ዘርፍ እንድንሻገር የሚያደርገን አንድ ከባድ ጥቁር እንግዳ አሁን ደረሱ ቁጭ ብሎ ፕሮግራማችንን ይከታተሉ ይችሉ እንደሆነ አውቅም ከሆነ ደስ ይለናል ግን እንደ ደረሱ እውቅና መስጠት ይገባልና ለኢትዮጵያ በጎ ይዋሉ የውጭ ሀገር ሰዎች ዘርፍ ተሸላሚዎች ጋር እንድንልፍ ተገደናል ምክንያቱም ከነዚህ እጮች መካከል አሉ ካትሪን ሃምሊን እናታችን በተለይ ለኢትዮጵያን ሴቶች በተለይ በፌስቱላ ችግር ለሚጎዱ ሴቶች ኤዲኖር ካትሪን ሃምሊን መካከላችን ተገኝተዋል በዚህ ዘርፍ 3 ጮች አሉ ስለዚህ ሳቸው አሁን ከተገኙ የዚህ ዘርፍ ተሸላሚ ማሳወቅ ግድ ይላል አቅማቸው የማይችልና የማይቀመጡ ቢሆን ስነ ስርዓቱን እንዲካፈሉ ለኢትዮጵያ መልካም የሰሩ የውጭ ሀገር ዜጎች ዘርፍ የ2009 አመተ ምህረት የበጎሶ ተሸላሚ በጣም ማከብራቸው ማደንቃቸው ዶክተር ኤልኖራ ካትሪን ሃምሊን ኤልኖር ካትሪን ሃምሊን ለኢትዮጵያ ያለ አበርክቶ አላቸው በተለይም በፌስቱላ ላይ የሰሩት ዘመቻ ትውልድ ለዘላለም የማይረሳው ወለታ ነው እጅግ በጣም አድርገንና መሰግናለን እድሜያቸውን በሙሉ ሀገር እንዳላቸው ሳይስማቸው ሀገራት ሀገር ኢትዮጵያን አፍደሚል ስሜት በተለይ ለኢትዮጵያውያን ሴቶች በገጠሪቱ ለሚኖር ኢትዮጵያውያን ሴቶች ያሉት ለታ ቀላል አይደለም እጅግ በጣም አድርገንና መሰግናለን እንኳን በህይወት ያሉ ዶቅና ለመስጠት አበቃ እንላለን ያፍ ያሉ ታላቅ አጋራችን ናቸው በጣም እና መሰግናለን ያለው በማለታቸው ነው በመሃላቹ እየዞራሉ በጣም እና መሰግናለን በ2009 ለኢትዮጵያ ደጎ ይዋሉ የውጭ ሀገር ሰዎች ዘርፉ በዚህ አመት የመጀመሪያው ነው ከአምስቱ አመት ለኢትዮጵያ ደጎ ይዋሉ የውጭ ሀገር ሰዎች እውቅና ሲሰጣቸው በአምስተኛው አመት የበቆሶ ሽልማት የመጀመሪያ ዙር ነው በዚህ የመጀመሪያ ዙር ኢንሴት ባይወጥ ኖሮ ይሄንን እውቅና እንሰጣቸው ስለቻለን 
እጅግ ደስ ብሎናል ይያሉ ነው አዘጋጆቹ ኤሊኖር ካትሪን ሃምሊን ለኢትዮጵያን ሴቶች የሰሩት ታላቅ ታላቅ ስራ ትውልድ የማይረሳው ወለታ ነው እና መሰግናለን እያላቸው ነው እድም ተኛው ፌስቱላ ሀመም የሚሰቃዩ የገር ጥሪቱ ኢትዮጵያ ነዋሪዎች እንደ አንድ ማአትና ጉር ተቆጥረው ተገል ተቀመጡበት አጥር ወይም የሹቦ ቤት መካከል ፈንቅለው ያመጡ መፍቴ ያለው መንገድ አለው ይያሉ የስነን ቦናቸውንም ጉዳይ ዳግም እየሰሩ ብዙ ኢትዮጵያውያን ሴቶች ተመልሰው ወደ ህይወት ውጤታማ እንዲሆኑ ላደረጉ ለኝ ሴትባካቹ አንድ ጊዜ በማስከተል በዘርፉም የመጀመሪያው ነው በአምስተኛው ዙር ይያልነው ለኢትዮጵያ በጎ ያለው የውጭ ሀገር ዜጎች ሽልማት ይሰጥ በጎ ሰው ስለዚህ አምባቢያችን የኚህን ሴት ታሪክ መታሰቢያ ሸዋየ ይልማ በጋዝጠኝነት ሙያ የምታቋተታችን ታሪካቸውን አቀርብልናላች መልካም ጊዜ ጉድ አፍተርኑን This is the first time that Yabako show award started awarding foreigners who do their most for Ethiopians and it's my immense with with immense humility that I accepted this and if the life of Dr. Catherine Hamlin is an ocean what you hear now is just a drop of it Eleanor Catherine Hamlin, the 2017 winner of Bagoso, foreigners who do their most for Ethiopia. Eleanor Catherine Hamlin, born 24th January 2024, is an Australian obstetrician and gynecologist with her husband, New Zealander Dr. Reginald Hamlin, co-founded the Addis Ababa Fistullah Hospital, the world's only medical center dedicated exclusively to providing free obstetric fistula repair surgery to poor women suffering from childbirth injuries. They also co-founded an associated non-profit organization, Hamlin Fistula Ethiopia. Hamlin has been recognized by the United Nations Agency UNFPA as a pioneer in fistula surgery for her development of techniques and procedures for obstetric fistula treatment. The Hamlins, together with the hospital staff, have treated more than 45,000 women to date for obstetric fistula. Eleanor Catherine Nicholson was raised in the Sydney suburb of Wright at the Hermitage built by John Blacksland in 1842. One of the six children of Eleanor and Theodore Nicholson, she went to Fenshamp School in Mittagong before attending the University of Sydney and graduating from medical school in 1846. After internships at St. Joseph's Hospital, Auburn and St. George's Hospitals, she became a resident in obstetrics at Crown Street Women's Hospital. In 1950, she married Dr. Reginald Hamlin, medical superintendent at Crown Street. In 1958, the Hamlins answered an advertisement placed by the Ethiopian government in the Lancet Medical Journal for an obstetrician gynecologist to establish a midwifery school at the Princess Zahai Hospital here in Addis Ababa. They arrived in 1959 with their six-year-old son, Richard. The Hamlins had never seen an obstetric fistula before. They were an academic rarity 
having been virtually eradicated in the United States in, 19, in 1895. The first Fistula Hospital closed its doors in the New York City was in 1925. Seeing many cases arrive at the school, they decided to create a dedicated hospital. Fifteen years later, in 1974, they founded a Disababa Fistula Hospital, and over the years, the hospital has treated more than 45 patients, and we're indebted for them for the service. Hamlin still lives in her cottage on the grounds of the Addis Ababa Fistula Hospital. She remains very active in the day-to-day -day work of the hospital and patient care. Reg Hamlin was actively involved in the activities of the hospital and was a member of its board of trustees until his passing in 1993. Hamlin has been awarded honorary fellowships in the Medical Associations of Australia, England, and the United States. On 26 of January, 1983, she was appointed as a member of the Order of Australia for her service to gynecology in developing countries. And on 26 January, 1995, Hamlin was awarded Australia's highest honor being promoted to the grade of Companion of the Order of Australia. On the 1st of January 2001, she was awarded the Centenary Medal for Long and Outstanding Service to International Development in Africa. She is the author of the best-selling book, The Hospital by the River, A Story of Hope, first published in 2001. A second edition was published in 2016 with a foreword by Dem Quentin B uh, Bryce. She has been described as a modern-day Mother Teresa in an edition by Pulitzer Prize-winning writer Nicolas Christophe of the New York Times. In 2009, she was awarded the Right L Livelihood Award, also called the Alternate Nobel Prize. Hamlin was among 50 prominent Australians invited by the Governor General of Australia, Dem Quen Bryce, to take lunch with Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh at the Government House, Canberra, on 23rd October 2011. In November 2016, it was announced that a Sydney Ferries Heritage Class Ferry would be named Catherine Hamlin. <laughs> Bose Hamlin and her hospital have received numerous awards known for her dedication and humility. Hamlin says of the plaudits she has received that, I am doing what I love doing and it's not a hardship for me to be working in Ethiopia with these women. Benazihna Beliluch lahagarachum besarwachos rauch mcniat, bedanyo chusani meseret, behulet shizet ein ametemheret, beitiopia melkami saru yoch agar zegoch zerf, ya ametu, ya begosota shalamina, lemejum meregize yenin zerf, ya shumati o tebu honoan, Dr. Catherine Hamlin. Oh, eh, ato belay girmai. And 
I'm very, very pleased to see you all here. And I want to tell you that without, his, without the help of the Ethiopians, I would never have accomplished anything. My husband and I came many years ago. And my husband died in the early, about, about 10 or 12 years ago. And I managed the, we got hospitals in the countryside for a very terrible injury that occurs when a woman can't deliver a baby normally. And she labors and labors until the baby dies and she gets a very bad injury in her pelvis. And we are the ones that are repairing it. And these two on either side are helping me and all the Ethiopians here are helping me and behind this work. And I want to say how grateful I am to see you all here. I had no idea when I was sitting at home that I was coming to such an audience. I thought I was just going to get some little award and then go home. But I see you all here and I'm very, very happy to be here to tell you <laughs> that without the Ethiopian staff, I couldn't have done anything. And we've got all sorts of wonderful stories I could tell you of their wonderful help and their wonderful loyalty to me. And I just pray God will bless them all. And I thank you all for coming. And I'm sorry that I'm a bit nervous because I want to speak to አክብሮ ተቀበሉልኝ እና መሰግናለን በኢትዮጵያ በጎ የዋሉ የውጭ ሀገር ሰዎች ዘርፍ የመጀመሪያው ዙር ኤሊኖር ካትሪን ሃምሊን ተሸርጭ ይሆናል እጅግ ደስ ብሎናል እና መሰግናለን